Thanks to Mylio for sponsoring this video. The iPhone 14's best feature is this. The camera on this phone is absolutely amazing. Photos, videos, selfies, even slow fees, remember when Apple tried to make that a thing, all look incredible when they are shot on an iPhone. And I mean, let's be honest, all modern iPhones are good these days. Even modern Android flagships and pretty much any phone you buy these days is going to take amazing photos and videos. But there's just one problem, and that is where do you store all the photos and videos you shoot? Of course, you could just store them on the phone itself, but then you're limited to the physical storage built into that phone. You could then turn to a cloud service, but then you're basically paying this never ending subscription. And in most cases, you've got to pay more the more photos and videos you need to store. And then if you're a geek like me, you could pick up a NAS and do your own home server solution, but that's opening up a whole can of worms that's got its own advantages and plenty of disadvantages. Wouldn't it be nice if there was a way to sort of cherry pick the best features of each of these solutions? So you just had the perfect one that worked for you? Seems like a dream, but actually it exists right now. In this video, I'm breaking down the power of Mylio Photos. Let me show you how it works, some of its top features, how it is super easy to set up, and why it is the perfect companion for all of your Apple and even your Android devices too. Apple and Google should be taking notes because this, this is big. One of the things that I love most about being so deeply embedded in the Apple ecosystem is that things just sort of seem to work for the most part. I can take a photo on my iPhone and it's gonna pop up instantly on my iPad and my Mac. But as great as iCloud Photos is, the limitations are also really hard to ignore. One of the biggest being that you're basically paying Apple for the privilege of storing your photos and videos because the built-in five gigs they offer you for free is basically useless in 2023. Also, the Photos app has its own limitations. Photo editing features aren't as advanced as many would like. Mixing in scanned photos or photos taken on anything other than an iPhone can get a little funky, for lack of a better word. And don't even get me started on trying to use this on Windows or Android. But good news for us is that it doesn't have to be this way, and that's why Mylio Photos is just so incredible. It's a super powerful solution that fixes all these shortcomings. It gives you an easy way to organize photos from any phone, camera, even bring all your photos in from social media super easily. It's got super sleek editing smarts built in and it works on any device. And to be clear, this is not a cloud solution. This is not something where you're paying, you're sort of giving up your photos and are those photos being used against you to target ads and there's privacy concerns. That's not what this is. These are your photos photos saved on your computer that can seamlessly sync securely between all your different devices. You can make edits, you can organize them and do what you want with your photos and videos basically anywhere around the world. Mylio does a fantastic job at the import process, organizing all your photos, cleaning them up, getting edits, getting tags. It is really amazing to see what the software can do. And best of all is that it's gonna give you a great experience, whether you're on iOS, you're on Android, PC, Mac. The versatility here is just incredible to see in action. And instead of me just sort of explaining how this works, let me go home and show you my own photo library and show you why Mylio Photos is just so cool. So welcome to my home office. I don't think this is really an angle I've ever shown before, but I wanted to give you a little peek behind the scenes to show you how I'm using Mylio uh, here at home on my Mac setup. I've got all my photos in here. I've got everything uh, sort of good to go syncing in my devices. And I thought I'd sort of show you rather than tell you why this has been so cool for me. And sort of reason number one, where it all starts for me, is how easy Mylio makes it to import all of your photos. I have photos on various social media accounts. I have some on cameras and hard drives, but the bulk of my like 30,000 photo collection is sitting in Apple Photos. It's in iCloud Photos, it's in that service. And what I love about Mylio is that in just a couple of simple clicks, I can import that entire library right into the software without me having to do anything. I didn't have to export the whole library, then bring it back in or download a copy and bring it over. So obviously my Leo here is packed with features and there's some advanced editing and lots of stuff that I'll get into in a moment. But for me, sort of at first glance, what I love most about the software is just how easy it is to sort of see all my photos. I'm not restricted by what camera one picture was taken on or this was taken on this phone or that phone. I just see all my uh, different images here uh, really nicely laid out. I can click on some and sort of see a, a better version. I can jump into editing and stuff like that. 
that. But I love here that I can see these large previews. I can kind of scroll through all my different photos and be able to see uh, all this stuff uh, right at a glance. Really nice for sort of showing uh, friends and family photos and just sort of uh, getting a general overview of uh, your photo collection. Just sort of the way it's organized, just right when you enter the software uh, is something that I really appreciate. What I also really like here is that MyLeo lets you look at your different photos in some other unique and more interactive ways. So for example, I can tag the different people and the different faces that appear in my photos so that I can sort of search for myself and see the photos that have me in it or my wife. I've started to do that under the people tab. I have my wife, I've got my daughter, so I can sort of see uh, which photos they're in. But one of my favorite features here is the map view. This gives me a whole world map to sort of look at all different areas of the world and see where I took photos. In this case here, I know a couple years ago, my wife and I visited the Snoqualmie, Washington area, and we took some cool photos on a hike. So I can go here on a map. I can look and sort of see if I remember what this location was. So the Twin Falls area, I think there's some cool photos in here. If I double click, I can sort of see exactly where these photos were taken. I don't have to go through 30,000 photos or remember when, what day was that or what year. I can look at it on a map, instantly find the photos I want and uh, really easily uh, view them uh, right inside of Mylio. One of the other awesome features of Mylio built in here are a couple of cool tools for organization to help you sort of organize your massive photo library. A couple of things in particular Mylio is going to help you with, uh, duplicate photos and also similar photos. So obviously duplicate photos, I take a picture here, I take a picture there, they're sort of merged in one library. One of the easy ways to fix that and sort of get rid of those is to come up to the organize uh, sub menu here, go to find duplicate photos and then I can easily delete them and select them and see all that. Uh, luckily, I actually don't have any here, which is great. Uh, but what I do have is a lot of similar photos. Uh, so if I come back up here to organize, I go to find similar photos. What this is gonna show me here is all of these similar photos that I probably don't need both of. And obviously I can uh, refine this. I could go uh, within a certain amount of seconds the photos were taken and match camera and stuff like that. Some great settings up here. But like, for example, I've got two photos here. I took side by side of these Teslas. Probably don't need both, so I can select this. I can hit go ahead and delete that one delete it, and it's gone. Now I've uh, saved myself uh, similar photos and if I do that a couple of times, I can get rid of a lot of the junk that's probably built up inside of my library. So while that's the Mylio experience on sort of the desktop side, one of the cool things as well is that you get that same experience, all the features on your mobile phone too. Whether you're on a tablet, you're sort of on the go, or you've got an Android phone, or in my case here, my iPhone, I've got the Mylio photos app here and all of my photos here, all 30,000 are here, so I can sort of pick up right where I left off. I can make those edits. I can do those organization, you know, tweaks I want to do. And I've got the same full feature experience, same UI, same features, really nicely optimized for my phone. And all my photos, all 30,000 in my case that are sitting at home on my MacBook Pro are right here and accessible for me literally just with the tap of my finger. It's literally that simple. And one of the big questions that I had about this and probably one that you have as well, is that while it's cool to see this seamless syncing happening between all your devices, what about storage concerns? I mean, I've got 30,000 photos and videos on my computer at home. I don't have nearly that much space on my iPhone to store all those in full res. How exactly do space savings work? Well, what's really cool about my Leo Photos is that it's using smart previews to basically give you a nice uh, high quality preview of your photos, and it's actually going to shrink down the file size to like 5% of that original file size, so you still have full access to your library wherever you are, but it's also gonna save you a ton of space. And like I mentioned, not only are your photos gonna seamlessly sync between devices, so if I take photos on my iPhone, for example, it's gonna seamlessly sync right back to my Mac, but also edits are gonna seamlessly sync across devices as well, so you're never gonna have an out-of-date photo. So if you're looking for the perfect photo storage solution, you've got pictures on hard drives and phones and cameras and social media accounts, and you wanna bring them all into one place, you want an easy way to organize them, you want an easy way to share them with friends and family, and you want them to seamlessly sync across all your devices, Devices without giving sort of big brother in the cloud any of your data, Mylio Photos is the perfect way to go. It is feature packed, seamless syncing. I love it, I know you guys will love it as well. So if you wanna check it out for yourself today, download it, try it out, get started, and to really elevate your photo experience on all your devices, this is an awesome way to go. Uh, we're gonna leave a link to Mylio Photos down below. Check it out for yourself today, get started, and uh, change your photo experience and uh, take it up to a whole new level. So if you guys enjoyed this video, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm Robert Rosenfeld from the Apple Circle. Thank you so much and I'll see you all in the next one.